And Kendall, it's a much different scene out there this evening. Yeah, Patrick, the crime scene tape just came down this evening, allowing us to get closer to Kennedy Middle School. Classes are canceled at the school tomorrow for the second day in a row as investigators continue to look into what happened here. Outside Kennedy Middle School Tuesday, a bike rack on its side and a handicapped parking sign ripped from the ground. So he must have been strong enough, took a bike rack and turned it on its side and used it as a stepping ladder to get up to the first roof. John Height was inside the school Monday night to officiate a volleyball game when he heard gunfire. And then uh, a couple of minutes later, two FBI agents came in with bulletproof vests and AK-47s and uh, they said get into a secure location. Suspicious activity at Kennedy Middle School. Subject up on the roof. Looks like it's going to be northwest corner. Shots fired, shots fired, shots fired. The subject appears to be down. That gunfire around 630. Video from News Chopper 12 shows evidence markers on the ground. Germantown police say a man on the school roof shot at officers. Three officers fired back, killing the man. They knew potentially children were in danger and they were ready to risk their lives to make sure that that did not happen. Uh, and their, their efforts were just nothing short of heroic. Wisconsin Department of Justice investigators say the man had no known ties to the school or community. Just before the shooting, they say his vehicle with out-of-state plates broke down. The man went to a nearby car repair business, then walked to the school and tried entering the building. He didn't get inside. We acted swiftly and appropriately um, related to how we train all our staff and students for events that we hope never occur, just like last evening. When the shots rang out, about 70 students and 20 adults were inside the school. Every time we heard something, we just like bunch up together and hug because we were we didn't know what was happening and we were scared so we just like huddled together. Kendall as you mentioned investigators say they don't think the man has a connection to the school. Are there any clues about why he was there? Germantown's police chief would only call this an isolated incident, saying they don't believe the man was targeting anything. Information about the man's age, where he's from or his name has not been released.